Cerebral satire contains strong language and thoughts that may offend. Huh? If you are easily huh? offended, Ooh. don't fucking what? bother what? listening what? to it. Who is this? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What's what? I've lost him again. Uh-huh. Where's he gone? Quit talking during the intro, son. I knew, I knew. I said to Amy, I'll fucking bet he's playing the intro without telling me. Cerebral Satire is back, ladies and gentlemen, is back with a vengeance, motherfucker, to bring to you the best entertainment that we can provide, which is pretty much Not garbage. <laughs> it's pretty well, much, pretty much garbage juice. It. We uh, are shit, but we're back. We are back. So, um, so Ant, what's, what's been going on with you, buddy? Loads of stuff. Yeah. Too much to go into detail. But I'm glad to be back for Me sure. Too. Me too, man. Um, there's, I mean, I just, I, I've had a lot of people reach out to us. I'm sure you've had people. I've had people reach out. Yeah. If I have people reach out to me, you definitely have people reach out to you asking what's up with the show. Ann and I took a break during Christmas, and then we had a couple of uh, different personal issues that had to be worked out. It wasn't really between us. Um, actually, it wasn't between it us was. at all. <laughs> it, it, was. uh, it, it wasn't. It don't was. don't tell lies. They they believe you when you say shit. Don't say that. Um, we had a couple personal tragedies, a couple of losses I'll, in our lives. I'll so we had. I looked at your missus, and it all uh, went pear shaped. Well, I mean, I said you can come over and fuck her if you want. So okay. you know, come on over. But I get I Amy, so that's the trade off. You wait, mate. One day when I do come over, you, you're going <laughs> to eat those fucking words. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we, we had a couple of personal issues we had to work out, but we're back. We're back. Um, back, back is b- back, back in black, but, but, son. But, but, uh, but, but, back. <laughs> so, uh, so lots of stuff going on. Um, I think Ann and I are going to really, really dedicate 2017 to just making you guys laugh. There's a lot of shit going on in the world yeah, and which we will get to. Because yeah. a lot has happened in the world since Some, we've been gone. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, yeah, 2017 is going to be a big year. You, 2016 was a fucking shit year. I know that's was a cliche. It? People have been going around like, yeah. oh, 2016, loads of people died. Yeah, fucking everyone, loads of people died. 15 every year. was worse, if you but, ask me. But... but it was a pretty shit year for me, 2016. But 2017, I, I think we can roll this one out. I've, it's already been a good start to the year. Well, yeah. sort of. Yeah. Just. <laughs> Not but, for me, yeah, not for like the US. The first, <laughs> after like the first two weeks of January, since then it's been all right for me. So, so, so yeah, it's now been, and you been, you have uh, you you have bought um, Rainbow Six Siege. I did. I bought. I went and bought a computer game, an now, Xbox game. God, you're so fucking old, and you bought an Xbox game. It's a computer game. <laughs> you're so. How is that old? How is me saying fucking... Because it's an Xbox game. game. It's a computer game. It's not a computer game. It's not on a computer. It is on a computer. An Xbox is a computer, you dick. I guess it's a sort of... It's an entertainment system. It's a game console. <laughs> it's an NES. It's a... It's a... It's a M- M- NES. M- 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 E-S. Oh, shut your fucking mouth. Microsoft game, entertainment system. Game. I bought a computer game, and I've started playing this computer game. Yeah, but Rainbow now we Six can play the computer game together, can't we? We have been playing it together. Um, yeah. What do you, you you have jumped from level zero to level fifty one in this game very quickly? Because I'm good. N- no, it's because you're yeah. playing this a lot. So how how much time are you dedicating to playing video games right now? I will usually play it for a good hour a night. Hour? I think an hour in Siege is like two two matches. Well, maybe on your American bullshit servers. <laughs> that servers were very fast. Uh, so I got, yeah. So I guess if you go, you know, three nil, you know, it's it's a quick game. Exactly. No. Uh, so you now you're the champion. I'm getting good at this game now. So you're saying you can beat my buddy Ninja? Is that what you're saying? 
Absolutely not. <laughs> Isn't he amazing? He's, he's just fucking, he's fucking good. Fucking so, uh, he's good yeah, at so every he's... game we play, and he's just he's like that. He, I will play a game. I'll give you an example. I uh, I got a beta to the uh, Wild Dance, the new Rainbow Six, uh, Tom Clancy's um, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Wildlands. I got a beta to it. Yeah. And I had three invites, and I sent one to Ninja, one to a couple, and uh, then the, the two to a couple friends of ours. Ninja okay, knew fun. how to play that game better than I did in an hour, and Thanks I had played it for eight hours. Now you know selling me. I mean, it's it, it's Rip. what? So thanks for the invite. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't think you'd like. I didn't think you'd like it. I didn't. No, nah, I want to play that for honor. Uh, I, I had a beta to that too. I, I, you know, you can get on these websites and you can sign up for betas and they'll send you. I know that. I know that. Keys I'm, lazy. Stuff, yeah. I'm a lazy human being. Well, there you go. Um, I, I played it. Say. It's it's okay. It's. Uh, I wait. They're doing an open beta this weekend. Oh, I'll play it this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Play it this weekend. It's 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 not as fun as I expected it to be. Okay. Um, cause something happened in my life this week. That was kind of. Oh, go I on. Had, um, Em and I had our first year anniversary. See, I, me and Amy were talking about this like today. Yeah. Actually, today, like really? how long you two been together? Oh yeah. So it's been a year. It's been a year now. Yeah, it's been. We can't. We don't really remember exactly when it's I been. Thought, I thought it was longer. No, no, it's been a year. Yeah, I know. It feels longer, doesn't it? Feels like we're the old couple in the room. It does it feels like you know it very does. compatible? It does, yeah. We are very compatible. Yeah, it's been it's been a year. So it's been a year. It's been almost uh, eight months when she moved in. I think. You know where like they say like chalk and cheese. You ever heard that expression? No. What is that? That's that's got to be a British expression. What is that? Yeah, yeah that's chalk why I said cheese? it because I think chalk and cheese is an English expression. It just means they're polar opposites, and you and M are like chalk and cheese. You <laughs> definitely been chalk. Chalk. I'm chalk. Fucking... Can... Because I, I bring everybody down and I cause yeah. chafing. <laughs> what? <laughs> and M's cheese. But you work together. You work well. We and do. We do. We work very, very well together. Um, I don't know how she puts up with her, but she seems to like it. Yeah, so. she does seem like, like She is a sadist, though. So. <laughs> that's true. She is She is a masochist. That's, that's very true. Actually, very true, <laughs> as I've talked oh. about many times on this podcast before. Uh, how, are you and, uh, how are you and AIM doing? Yeah, doing all right. Yeah, yeah. How's the babies? Babies are good. Yeah, Jarvis looks huge. He's getting big. He's getting big boy. That's a big boy, dude. No, How was the fancy. um? You just you just recently came back from your um your in laws for the Chinese New Year. How'd that go? That went really good. I love Chinese New Year's. <laughs> that's my that's one of my favorite days of the year. That yeah, it is because you get to eat a really lot of fucking drunk, food. Eat loads of food. I usually offend probably one part of amy's family <laughs> then what 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 part usually did you do, usually pulling chinese eyes what part did you <laughs> i was drunk you did not no i didn't okay all right something... just making sure <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> what do you think is i can see you doing that yeah, I'll drunk do. you could be like yeah hi how are you doing today no, I don't really the most typical it. fucking yeah. racial Chinese thing ever, right at the table, dude. You guys had a spread, man. Yeah, that was good. Holy good fuck, that's a that was a lot of food. That rivals that th- that you know typical American Thanksgiving food, dude. That rivals got, it. Since, since uh, our last show, yeah, I've I've gone up. I've put on two inches on my waist, <laughs> dude. I am the and heaviest. I lost it. I am the heaviest that I have ever been currently right now. That's that's because you're comfortable. Yeah, that's what they yeah. say. But you know, I'm just mm. I'm just getting fat. <laughs> what's what? Are you just you just being lazy? No, because I do loads of like, at work and that. I do low. I do mileage. You do you know? mileage actually. Yeah, so do I. But when you come home, you don't do nothing, right? No, that's you something just drink. Else I'm you I'm drink so... and play video games, right? Yeah, I drink lit lager and play computer games. Beer, or... beer will do it, dude. Beer what? and beer and soda are the two two things that will put you. It'll it'll put some it'll put some weight on you, dude. Yeah, I do drink a lot of beer lately. Used to be, used to be wine, but now I'm going through a beer stage. I I don't think wine's any better. 
Well, wine's full of sugar as well. Yeah. But at least, at least wine, you think, right, uh, there's a little bit of goodness in here I somewhere. I don't think so, man. It's bread. It's, like, it's, just, it's just bread. It's just bread. Yeah, I mean, wine is called, what is it, the, the bread of the, it was like a nickname for something for bread, right? It's like this, the the poor bread what? or something like that. Isn't, wasn't wine called something like poor bread or something like that? Wine called poor bread. Yeah, it's like yeah. the bread of the the bread of the stupid or something. Like, uh, the bread of the stupid. What wine? You have lost me, mate. Names. You have completely hang on, hang on, hang on. fucking lost me. Here we go. Look, uh, what hell. nicknames are used for wine? Vino. Red Goo. Red wine. Wow. What was Those used for like slave bread? Slave bread. Yeah. Wine. No, am I? Uh, I'm, I oh, must be way off right shit. now. I think, I think we are talking absolute bollocks. That's oh. per usual. Welcome back to Cerebral Satire. We're talking bollocks. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what we do here. That's what we do here. Um, uh, I know you can't talk about you working at MI6, but how's MI6? MI6 is fantastic. Yeah. Yep. That's uh, why. Everybody... That's why me playing uh, Rainbow Siege is going well. All cause... your, um, all your, all your. All your buddies safe and everything. I know some some shit was going down over there, so I just want to check in. Yeah, Everybody yeah, safe? Yeah, shit's always going down. <laughs> different Fuck day, yeah. different shit. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, MI six going very well, thank you. Good, good. How's uh, <laughs> what are you gonna call uh, it? <laughs> how's Willy Wonka's factory? It's good. It's good. Um, yeah. I'm looking to get out of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's. That's how good Too it is. Many <laughs> Too many Impalumpas. Too many Impalumpas. I gotta go. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this anymore. So, um, good news is my brother left to uh, make his own uh, franchise to learn how to make his own franchise this week. What Dominoes? Yep. Oh, awesome. I love how the fact we can talk about his job, but <laughs> but we can't yeah, know, talk about you know, ours. <laughs> sorry, Matt. You're irrelevant. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he he flew out to Michigan or some fucking bumfuck place wherever the Domino's franchisee place is to learn how to be a franchise. Um, oh, that's sweet though. There. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's brilliant. Mix. Yeah, so he's he's going out there to learn how to do that, and then hopefully he'll be getting his own franchise within a year. That'd be really cool. Uh, that would be cool. It's a pay cut though. I'll get I'll give him that. But he's vice president of a uh, of his franchise right now, and it becoming your own boss is a pay cut. It sucks at first. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, but then it has it has its benefits as well, doesn't it? You know, it's it's all about it pros and cons in this world, and there's probably more pros to owning your own franchise. Yeah, it does. So I wanna, I wanna, I, I mean, I'm I'm really considering becoming like a you know store manager for him, or maybe not yeah, a, maybe not well, a store, not maybe like, not a store. It's not like manager. you ain't got experience of doing stuff it's like true. that. So it's true. Maybe not a store manager. Maybe a district manager. You'd eat all the pizzas, though, wouldn't you? Fat cunt. Oh, my God, dude. That's all I've eaten is pizza. And that's not even a lie. Like, I wish that was a lie. It's not a lie. I ate pizza on fucking Sunday. I ate pizza on Monday. And I ate pizza on fucking... Do you know what? I had pizza today as well. And I also read an article today yeah. in, in a British magazine. Uh-oh. I can't remember what it's called. Some load of bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it said... Right? So they've done a poll of what is the favorite pizza for British people. Okay. So they've done a poll. So they, they went to Domino's and Pizza Hut and Chicago Town like, and Papa John's and all that, and they asked them to do the poll. Okay. Do you know what number one was? Pepperoni? No, cheese and tomato. How fucking cheese dull. Cheese and tomato? How fucking dull are British people? Che- that like, proves how dull we are as a country. Like Fucking che- cheese and tomato pizza, the most... The most popular pizza, like cheese, because and... we're skin. It's the cheapest one, cheapest cunt, isn't it? We're tight. <laughs> tight just like over it. it's not, like, it's not like pepperoni. You are. It's not just pepperoni, like pepperoni. The, the, well, pepperoni came like third. What? Yeah. Pepperoni pizza is the most basic pizza you could have, other than just cheese pizza. Yeah, well, that's what it was: cheese and tomato. That's so Number weird. One. Oh, oh, cheese and tomato, like cheese and tomato sauce is what you're talking about. Yeah, just tomato sauce. Gotcha. So no just tomatoes. A, so just a plain just, pizza. Just a plain fucking oh pizza. Oh, my God. Britain's most popular pizza. Fuck's sake. <laughs> you guys you guys are known for your stealing of other cultures' food, and you guys choose plain pizza? I oh, know. <laughs> fucking Because let's be honest, fucking English food is horrible. English food is fucking foul. It's Awful. That's why. That's why no no one from Britain eats eats it. British food. I know. 
It's up. The only, I'll tell you what, the only British food we eat, maybe on a su- sun, it's probably on a Sunday because Sunday morning you'll have a British fry up. That's what nice I was. That's up. the only thing I was thinking of right you now. Bacon, eggs, and yeah. sausages, and hash browns, and all and that. Beans. Lot. And then, you guys love and, your fucking beans with oh, your breakfast. It's disgusting. Bollocks, fucking baked beans are the bollocks. And then in the evening you'll have a roast dinner. A British roast mm. dinner, which is the bollocks. But other uh, every other day of the week, that, you're fucked. A load of shit. Yeah, it's horrible. You guys just steal like curry and fucking everything exactly. else. Curry is the most popular dish in Britain. Yeah, it's not ours. Then, like, like what we eat in our house is usually either Italian, Chinese, occasionally American. What would be American? Like That's... hamburger, hot dog. Yeah, like cheeseburger or mm. hot dog or. What else we have like ribs and that the ribs. Way, occasionally. Oh. Um, I've been on a ribs kick. Dude. We eat bacon. Oh. I mean, bacon. but I don't think we ever eat British food, Andrew. <laughs> Why? Like, it's we, horrible. Why would you eat British food? Mash. It's awful, dude. Do that bangers and mash. Ooh, and bangers again. and mash. I like bangers. Uh, bangers how and often do you guys eat fish and chips? Fish and chips, we like it should be a stable over here. Like every it Friday, should be. Have fish and chips. Like I. But, okay, so my imagination of going over to britain like the yeah. first thing i want to eat i just want to go to like a little pop-up place like a little sidecar place that has the, the best fish and chips and a beer that's all i want like that's the first food i want to eat shit. i love fish and chips it's the batter the batter does me head in oh why i don't know <laughs> it's got to be proper beer batter yeah it has to be proper beer batter like, it's got to be yeah, that fluffy it can't be greasy normal chippy if you go to normal chippy it's never beer batter it's what? like that flour batter stuff, ain't isn't it? So you, what, never, you have to go to a pub? Do you have to go to a proper pub to get a good fish and chips? you got to go to a proper good like restaurant. Restaurant, place. okay. Yeah, to get a beer batter. So like my chips. my whole idea of the local, like the corner, well, like, um, I mean, we, we call, they're like, it's like food, hell, it's like the, the, the pop-up food place you know like, like the, the like the like the little fucking car that's the little caravan that sits on the I, corner i know what you're saying i know what you're saying and we do have them but i say like even in my little town food truck food we've, truck we've God, got yeah. we've got four fish and chip shops yeah so i mean but most most i'll tell you what most we've got kebab shops yeah i it's not it's not a it, that's a turkish thing right yeah it's we, not we a fuck, big thing we here. lack it up over here yeah, you, you got you and Wayne talk about kab- well, oh, poor Wayne. Wayne. You and Wayne used to talk about kebabs all the time. Kebab. Well, say that again. Kebab. Kebab. Like my it. knob. Kebab. Uh, my knob. But, but no, <laughs> if if you go out on the piss, British tradition, you get a kebab on the way home. And that's a proper so, thing. So on a, that's a proper like meat and vegetables on a stick that you walk around with and eat. No, it's not a stick, mate. It's not a st- okay, so what's a kebab? Because like big, I'm thinking in, of like in a big na- in a big naan bread. Okay. Yeah. So yep. you, you, you obviously get fucking naan bread. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I know. I love naan bread. Oh my god. So a big bread. fucking naan bread yeah. with loads of like stripped meat, like just hor- It's not even meat. I don't know what it is. Like, no one knows what it is. <laughs> it's the bad part of the beef. It's 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 it, 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 and it's there for weeks. So it's the it's the Ameri- it's, it's there it's, for weeks. It's the American hot dog. Yeah, it's the, it's yeah, it's a yeah, it's like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's the American hot dog. It's, it's not bratwurst. It's not like good stuff. It's the American hot dog. It's all the garbage left over it's that they the fucking chop up shit and they just yeah. chop up and they put it in a big fucking thing. They put curry <laughs> sauce on it and then you eat it on the way home. I still that haven't. I still never had curry. Haven't had curry yet. Never eaten a curry. Mm-hmm. That's, Why that's don't a you very... make a curry? It's not like you can't uh, get curry over that's there. That's a good idea. Got curry Actually, I, should, in I should probably request a curry to be made by him, shouldn't I? A nice vindaloo. 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 What's a, nice a one. vindaloo? In inform our dumb well, just, American listeners. That, a vindaloo is a very spicy curry. Ooh. See, I I always go for madras or a paffia. Paffia is not well known, but a madras is, and a madras is like fairly hot. And it's tomato based with like chicken or lamb and a bit of pillow is it, rice. Is it like a slow burn? Well, you said it's, you said it's, it's fairly hot. Burn. You said it's fairly hot. So it's not like a bite into it and you get. Well, no, it's not. It will maybe a couple of drips of sweat. Gotcha. And then and then in the morning, ring sting. 
<laughs> a little bit of ring sting. A little bit of ring sting. Just a, only a little bit, though. <laughs> That's my Where new favorite loo, word. That's my new favorite word, you'd ring be crying sting. on the toilet. That's my new favorite word, ring sting. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of ring sting. <laughs> uh, all right, Ace, you want to get into our first story? Why you calling me Ace? <laughs> because. Okay, so this is. A <laughs> <laughs> so I'm playing. I'm trying to play with Ant's friends on um, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, guys. I've been playing Rainbow Six Siege for over a year. He just got the fucking game, so I'm trying to play with my buddy, trying to reconnect with my buddy from across the pond. And I get on there, and his 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 British friends are talking, and they're like, "All right, hey, hey, so let's go. Let's keep, let's keep going. Let's 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 move on here." <laughs> and it's, I I it's hear sad, so it's like that is that is perfect. That is yeah. exactly. All. Sound night. Yeah, I keep I keep hearing that. I keep hearing all right, Hayes, all right, Hayes, all right, Hayes, all right, and it moves into Ace for me. So from now on when I talk to when I talk to Ant, it's Ace on the Xbox because that's what I heard his friends say, but it's actually uh, you know, his last name. So there you go. That's yeah. that's the uh that's the, that was the that 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 did not pan out well. Why didn't that pan out well? Because you can't let listeners know my last name. <laughs> Did not pan out well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move into our first story. How about that? <laughs> Fucking hell, that was awful. Welcome back to Cerebral Satire, everybody, where Chris tells horrible fucking stories. All right, let's move on. <laughs> oh, that's awful. I can't do that audio. And why am I playing a horrible Roseanne Barr national anthem, which I actually love? Because, uh, Mr. Vamp, yep. something has happened since uh, we've come onto the air or been off air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was right. The second one. <laughs> <What I understand. laughs> uh, is that you've elected Donald Trump as your president of the United States. Now we we you know um, we try and shy away from politics a little bit on this show, and we don't really do it too much. We're, we're a bit of a flump show now, you know. We started off doing politics and religion. We're and trying to be pop, we're trying world. to be a little bit more. We're trying to bring a little bit of light into the world. Exactly right. So you said to me, if he gets elected, I'm going to move. So yep. have you moved? Not yet. It's expensive to move. <laughs> So that was more Chris bullshit. So <laughs> it's expensive to move, and my family's here. <laughs> so before, um, I, get I, into, before I, will, I get into the story, can I can I be honest with you though? Yeah, go on. Em and I have very, very, very seriously considered. Like we've looked at it to see where we want to move. If we want to move to the UK, if we want to move to Canada, where we would like to move that is best. And you don't uh, want to come over here, mate. It's a shit hole. <laughs> <laughs> so you keep telling me that and that puts me off of off of the UK. And then Australia is just fucking insanely expensive You'll to live die. In. You will and, die. In and and I am everything there kills you. I am deathly afraid of spiders. Well, it's probably not best place to go to. So yeah, so that's the other but not best place to go. And then Canada I'm has like to, uh, an, the Brazilian can- rainforest. There ain't no spiders there. <laughs> Fuck you. Canada has the worst internet, man. They have such horrible internet. Yeah, they so do. I don't, I don't know where I want to go, dude. I don't know where I want to go. The internet is up there for your reasons of moving, is it? That's that's one of the top internet ones. Internet is, is a very, very... I mean, it's very... I, everything I do is through the internet. Everything I do is through the so internet. So where on the scale would internet be? In a range of zero to ten, what pr- in priority? Oh, it's like it's like nine. A oh, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. So like, ha- like neighborhood housing, like yes. safety. Yes, I like will. That. If we looked at we looked at moving diff- to different apartments and different buildings and different houses, and if they don't have good internet, they don't have cable internet. I'm out. I can't move there. Like if if they have DSL, I'm out. If they have um, satellite internet, I'm out. I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't you just? do your own internet no what what does that what does that even mean do my own internet 
what is, what that? is the internet? Just, just can't you just make your own internet? No, you can't make your own internet. I mean, you can make your own internet <laughs> in your house. It's called a network. You can't just fucking make up your own internet. Get on. Let's let's. Can't get... you can't you get fiber optic in any house now? No, you cannot. Not any house. You can get fiber optic up to Atlanta, I believe. Now, right now, Google Fiber is in Atlanta currently, right now. But that's about it as far as fiber optic. We've got fiber optic all over this country. We do not have fiber optic all over. Because um, is the is the internet there? Is it a uh, mun- municipality? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is it a mani- municipality? Am I, saying I, that right? I literally don't know what you're trying to say. You sound like a piss guy trying to is say. It, is it like the water and sewer? The water and sewer? Yeah. What do you mean? Is it is it the water? Is it like is it like the water and sewer? Like you pay your water bill, but you pay it to a uh, county water, or you pay it to a um, federal oh, water? Right. Okay, yeah, right. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm Municipality. With you. you have to. <laughs> I don't know why you say you I'm still sound saying pissed. that right. I'm saying that right. It, it, you, we pay for a phone line, don't we? So who do you pay for your phone? I pay uh, the grid. BB like like a actual national phone grid. Yeah, British okay. Telecom. B- British Telecom. So it's like you know, yeah. we don't have that here. That's not a thing here. We don't have a national uh, grid. Um, okay. Different utilities work within the grid. Private companies work within the grid to give us. So like, let's say oh, I. So you you can move to Atlanta and it and the grid's owned by like Comcast. AT. Correct. And then you can move somewhere else, and it's owned by someone. Oh, that's correct, bollocks, isn't it? Correct. So I could, I like, it, that's exactly right. So I go to Atlanta, and I could get Charter, or I could get Comcast, or I could get a couple different places because they're all bu- vying for that for those areas because they cross over. Uh, and then so I pri- can come, I can come to this cable. apartment complex, and I have to get Time Warner Cable. Ah, uh, got you. Yeah, I'm with you. So it's not a national thing. So Google coming from California, has started laying out Google Fiber for a very good price and a okay. very high-speed internet. So they're pretty much taking over the internet as it so is uh, across America. Um, uh, see, we haven't we haven't got... Uh, con- our country's not pigeonholed like that. You can just go with anyone you want. We've got loads of different companies that does fiber optic. So how many, how many different companies uh, do you... Do you have like in your house uh, right now? Eight hundred and seventy-two. You could pick between eight hundred seventy-two companies to go in your house right now. Yeah, I just made that number up. Oh, okay, but it's it's a lot. Yeah, there's loads. There's yeah. loads. We don't have loads. We have probably like the there's like seven or six main ones. And yeah. right now, I don't have. I can. I, I'm in a monopoly zone. I can't get anyone else to run cable to my apartment. Like I can only get Time Warner. So if I fall out of favor with Time Warner, I'm fucked. Like I have to get either dial up or like satellite internet, which both suck. Uh, yeah. Enough about it. Now I want to anyway. talk about Trump. Why are you talking about Trump? What are we talking right. about Trump for? So I don't want to talk about Trump. this is a story. Right, I'm gonna start reading it. It's from the Huffington Post. See, I actually done a plug for once. Hey Huffpo. We know that Americans like to make money, but there are some things that just go too far. Donald Trump likes to brag about how he's doing in the polls, but this is one he probably won't mention. (laughs) A a new indecent proposal poll of 1,000 adult Americans by some twats reveal that 53.1% of women women wouldn't have sex with Donald Trump for $1 million. Wouldn't? What? Wouldn't? Would not? Wouldn't. 53% 53% wouldn't have sex with Donald Trump for a million dollars. You won't fuck the president of the United States for one million dollars. Yeah, fuck off. According to the sex survey conducted in May, nearly 55% of men would <laughs> hump Trump for a million bucks. <laughs> so it's like closer. It's like just as close for men. Men are the, like, This just shows you how much we love money. According to the sex survey... That's bollocks, mate. So it's fifty-three percent of women are like, nah, nah, I ain't doing that. Only like fifty-five percent of men are like, nah. <laughs> we are fools. That's man. so fucking awful. 
Men are are. so horrible. Oh, my God. We are are a shit race, mate. But, however, that doesn't mean the respondents aren't open to negotiation. According Mm -hmm. to the poll, Trump would have to offer an average of $1,350,000. Wait, so an extra $300,000 will put... Next 350 grand. Put you over the edge. Yeah, before (laughs) the women respondents would agree to sex. Men, (laughs) men, right, check this out. Men would settle on the average one million ninety nine thousand dollars. <laughs> Less than a hundred grand. <laughs> Just an extra hundred k. Well, that's it. That's me that's done. done. That's all I wanted. Take care of the taxes, buddy. Take care of the taxes. That's all I care about. I'll see. I'll get some Trump dick in my mouth. Why not? I mean, it's but small Trump- anyway. Like he's gonna penetrate you, please. I fucking won't feed it. Trump isn't the only politician respondents wouldn't do for a million dollars, though. Nearly 41% of women and 36% of men wouldn't have sex with Hillary Clinton for a million dollars. I would totally what? have sex with Hillary Clinton for a million. One, it's a really, really good story. And two, it's a million dollars. And she's a woman. Like, do it for 100 grand. You do it for 100 grand? You are such a cheap grand. fucking whore. If you hoard yourself out on the street, how much would you... How much would you what you're saying, if Hillary right, Hillary Clinton walks into your house right now mm. and says, "Here's twenty thousand, right?" But you, got, I want to, fu- you know, you got to fuck me. No, I would say no. Why would you say no? Because it's not worth it. Why is that not worth it? Twenty thousand pounds. No, that's that's a year's wage for some people. It's not a year's wage for me. <laughs> yeah, but it's a year's wage for some people. Now, if, I, 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 I will grant it. If you put a, a year's wage in front of me, sure, I'd fuck Hillary. Sure. Well, there you go, then. Yeah, 60 grand, sure, I'd fuck Hillary Glidden. It doubled my... And I still... I mean, I still, I understand. I still have to work. I still have to do other... But an extra 60 grand in my pocket? Fuck exactly. It. Why not? For She's a woman. Wage, yeah. I would record it. I would record it and make more money off of it. Exactly. That's what you do. So a story, wouldn't you? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and I mean, wh- what is Pendulette always says? Pendulette always says the one that takes the best stories to the grave is the one that's 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 the winner in the end. It's all about story, man. If you could tell the story for the rest of your life to all your friends and everyone you meet that you fucked Hillary Clinton and she likes it in the pooper, I mean, it's the best. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> but, but... I love the fact that you stuttered on that. <laughs> Well, I, I've just, I was just reading through this article, and the next, the next paragraph made me laugh. Uh-oh. All right, so the average price to get people to sex up with Hillary is one point two six million for women, which is less than Trump. Two six. Right? And for men, it's one point one. So remember, Trump was one point one, and so Hillary's one point one two. One point one. That's bullshit. So it's the same did they, amount. Did they poll like every Republican in the United States? The, all right. <laughs> Remember, this is this is a very liberal um, news site. It is, yeah. So meanwhile, forty four percent of women and forty six percent of men wouldn't have sex with Bernie Sanders for a million pound. Uh, but the survey didn't ask respondents to name their price. <laughs> so again, Bernie gets slighted in the in the end. <laughs> So I 100% for a million dollars would have sex with Bernie. Have sex with Donald Trump. You would not. I would have sex with Donald Trump for a million dollars. You would not. A million dollars is not what a million dollars used to be, dude. It's still no, you you can't retire on a million dollars. No, you can't. Right? Not at our so, age at least. 20 30 years ago you might have been able to just retire mm. on a million dollars. You can't do that nowadays. A million you can't aim. You, you can't. can't you can't. Not anymore, aim. You can't. It's a, you can't aim. It's enough to pay your mortgage. Yep. And if you think about it, if you earn... That's the taxes, man. The taxes. £20,000 a year, which is a lower echelon wage for 40 years, which is your average sort of career life, that's a million pounds. Yeah? So a million dollars... If we're doing math on you got, yeah, you're getting taxed on that, so that'll yes. be fifty percent. So you're getting five hundred thousand. Yeah, are you on about getting taxed on the on my salary? Yeah, that's. Is it just I'm getting straight up million? It's not fifty percent. I'm getting straight up million pound. But it's hey, still, there's a reason why. Hey, there's a reason one, why. You the, live your means the, as well. You once you bought your house, because you'll sell your house and you'll buy a fucking bigger house. Yeah. You'll buy a house for like half a mil. Then you got to pay taxes on that. 
Oh, Amy's investments in property. This is this is why, Amy. This is why most people that win the lottery go broke. Yeah, money does change people as well. Yeah. You think, oh, I'll invest it in property like Amy would, no, you but don't. you know, you you wouldn't. You you buy a big house, mm -hmm. you buy a nice car, and uh, and where's your money? <laughs> in taxes. It's pretty much all gone then. Taxes. It's all taxes. A million dollars is nothing now, man. It's nothing. Live within your means. Like I'm if you always... if you really want to you really want to retire right now at the age that we all three of us are at because we're all three at this around the same age. Like you're gonna need at least five to six million dollars. Yeah, definitely. Like, Completely agree. Five to six million dollars. Five to six million dollars. You're taken care of. You're done. You can put at least a million dollars in a savings account, which will accrue. That's it. And you just over you and just, you just live the off of that. And the rest of it's pretty much taxes. Like the rest of it's pretty much just gone in taxes. Yeah. Houses, taxes, taking care of yourself, taking care of your family. It's like it's, like I said, you always live within your means. Yeah. It's not like if we go out for a meal on a Sunday. We'll go to a little restaurant, you know, it's probably eight quid a head. Yeah. <laughs> but if if you've got that sort of money, you you you'd always be frivolous. Yeah. And you, you go, right, oh let's go to the okay, let's go to the nice restaurant. And, you know, it's like fifty, sixty quid a head. And, and with in time that money just it just diminishes and you, you end up fucking yourself over. Yeah, the food's not any better, it's the same food because your taste buds are the same, it, gives a fuck. You're not you're not you know you don't sit sit on a million million quid you don't just sit on it you no. spend it yeah you would spend it but there you go i'm not asleep with donald trump for it's i'll fucking am all right what about a little blowjob give him a little blowjob for a million for a million yeah. oh yeah blowjob yeah so you wouldn't fuck his ass no but you'd let you'd suck his penis no yeah 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 no that's the wrong way round. What? Why is that the wrong way around? Because if it's an ass, you just imagine it's a fucking woman or whatever, and you're no, shagging I an ass. I imagine sex is everything, right? So sex, you have to suck his, you have to suck his dick and fuck him, or no. he, or he fucks you. Where did it you. say that? Where did it say that? Or it he said have sex with him. I, sex, sex is sex. I, I, it's all encompassing. If I hire a prostitute <laughs> to have no, sex no, with me, have full pay fuck with you. Him. If I hire a prostitute to have sex with me, it's all encompassing. I'm going to fuck her. She's going to suck my dick. I'm going to fuck her in the ass. I'll probably lick her asshole. I mean, it's everything is all <laughs> all good. So <laughs> you're talking shit. I'm not if, talking shit. If they say right. Donald Trump comes in the room, and I'm going to have. I want you to fuck me for a million dollars. See, and you're also you're truth, also right? think you're yes, also thinking yes, I'm, you're I'll you're still that, you're mate. still thinking I'll, that I'll, I'll shag you. But first of all, you know, let's have a bit of four flour suck your cock as well. You're, you're still thinking shit, that you're the man. Over, I'll spit on my cock. I'll <laughs> slam it inside his arsehole. Two that minutes. That he's fucking, I love that fact that he, you had such a fantasy. Uh, it's it's also the fact that you think you're the man. What if you're not the man? What if you're the what if you're the receiver, it's not the giver? Fucking me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> For a million? Yeah. No, you can't hire enough therapists to get over that. Then you're I gonna have, enough you're gonna have orange spray tan on your ass forever. I'm just I will just be laying there. I'll probably go sleep or something. That was a good joke, brother. I won't yeah, I'm no sold it. I won't <laughs> even I won't even know he's inside me. I'll just lay down, go to sleep, let him do the business. That is Bullshit! You cannot go to sleep and have a man up your butthole. Why not? Because it's it hurts, and it hurts, and not in a fucking good way, from what I understand. Well, some people like it, but you know, hey, teach their own. You yeah. stick. You, you, I know you stick your finger up your ass in the shower, right? I love sticking my finger up. My okay, ass. so why don't you take three fingers and stick it up your ass? And st done that before. <laughs> Liked it. You know what I'm talking about? The Peruvian marching powder, the devil's dandruff. It's a nice thing, though. Cocaine. Mmm, what a wonderful drug. Anything that makes you paranoid and impotent, give me more of that. Mmm, <laughs> what a great thing to do. Oh, we're back with sound again. <laughs> Sorry about the sound. I got the sound from Hollywood. <laughs> I, people in the balcony were going, we understood him. I guess Juilliard helped for a brief moment. I could enunciate to the back row, just like Sylvester Stallone doing Hamlet. This would be a place for Stallone. This is what happens when you do cocaine, guys. You fucking end up like Robin Williams. Um, anyway. What, dead? 
<laughs> anyway, Ant, what's... And mediocrely funny. <laughs> Why are we... Hey, he has some good classic stand-up stuff. Man. I'm not a fan... I'm not a fan of people that just do voices to get a laugh. He doesn't do voices? Have you listen, Have you ever seen Bobby his Williams old stand Williams doesn't stuff? do voices. No, no, no. He doesn't do just... Boy, that's all, all he does. He has some great stories that he tells about you know parent parenthood and doing drugs when he was younger and fucking oh he did some drugs and that dude did some fucking uh, that drugs. That sounds like a poor man's Richard Pryor. I mean, it's the white. I would call him the white man's Richard Pryor. The white man's Richard. You know how racist that sounds. Really, that's racist. You he's think that's racist? White, he's the white man's Richard Pryor. <laughs> that does sound bad. I don't know why it sounds bad. It does sound bad though. But it is bad. I, it, is it bad? I don't think it's bad. That's what I'm saying. He's the black man's Robin Williams. You guys tell us who the white man's Richard Pryor is. Hashtag C satire. On no, Twitter. don't what? don't say who yeah, the yeah, white yeah, man's yeah. Richard Pryor is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, tell us. I, I, we already f- know it's Robin Williams. <laughs> Should I do a poll on Facebook? <laughs> Just who's who's the best white man's? Uh, who's the white man's Kanye? White man's Kanye? Yeah. There is no white man Kanye. Oh. I mean, That's really. There's a pulp. There's no white man Kanye. Well, <laughs> I mean, there's no, just there not. There is, right? What about uh, Eminem? He's, he's not. not a, he's not crazy like Kanye. I'd say Pitbull. Pit, pit? <laughs> Is Pitbull is he white? white? <laughs> is he white? I don't know. I'm not sure if he's white. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he's he white. Took... I don't think Pitbull's white. Anyway, me. why are we talking about cocaine? Ant? I don't know. We went off fucking off the yeah, tracks yeah. there, didn't we? Again. Right, this is about a man who sues a supermarket after finding cocaine in his Nesquik. <sighs> right, Nesle says that the chocolate Nesquik turned... Oh, I'm not reading that because it's just flumps. <laughs> One Spanish customer discovered £11,000 worth of Colombian marching powder stuffed inside his packet of popular milkshake products. What? Yep, the man from the city of Zaragoza. North and eastern Spain first noticed there was something amiss when he returned home from the supermarket and saw the lid of the large tub was partially open. Inside, hidden among the chocolate, he found a 250 gram packet of the Class A drug. 250 grams, shit. That's a lot of, the that's man a lot of cocaine, dude. Who had, who had not been named called the police, dick, who <laughs> tested the contents of the packet and confirmed it was cocaine, worth an estimated $11,000, $13,000, wow. about $13,000. Wow. Right. Spain's National Police have opened an investigation, confirming that the tub left the factory intact, so it must have been tampered with in the supermarket. So, wait, so um, we're talking somebody walked into a supermarket, opened yep. up a tub of Nesquik, scooped up a, scooped up a good amount of it out, put it in their pocket and then put a fucking baggie of Coke in it and then sealed it back up again. I don't reckon. I reckon it was probably at a distribution center. Oh, you think so? So they, went to they just... go, they go oh, from gotcha. a place like Nesquik into a distribution center, yep. don't they? And yep. then they go to different stores. So I reckon it was probably at a distribution center where that happened. I didn't know Spain was so cocaine. I thought like, like, isn't it classic Brazilian cocaine? Isn't that like a classic? I know Spain was so heavy into Coke. Oh, that Spain was broke. What the fuck are you talking about? Every country's into cocaine, aren't they? Are they? Yeah, pretty much. Like, coke here is not a big thing right now. It's it's the heroin and Oxycontin and all the fucking pain pills right now. Pain? Pain oh, what? Oh, big fucking painkiller pill right now. Ep- epidemic running through America big time. Oh, oh, paracetamol? Oh, every anything you can think of is fucking immensely popular in America around. Any pain pain medication, pain pill, heroin is a substitute for it. So what happens is is the fucking doctors get you hooked on fucking pain meds, and then you can't afford them anymore. You get addicted to it, then you can't afford them anymore, and then you start doing heroin because it's a substitute because they're all opiates. So it's it's an, an opiate addiction. Huge right now in America. Huge, big. Uh, be very great. Great, great American uh, opiate addiction. I'll make America great again with opiates. Great. <laughs> Is that your Donald Trump impression? That's, that's the best I got. Now. I actually quite liked it. <laughs> I actually thought it was quite good. That's the best I got right now. But you all sound the same. <laughs> It'll get that better. <laughs> It'll yeah. get better. Yeah, you all sound the same. Anyway, <laughs> right. keep going. 
So anyway, I can't do Spanish. I'm not even going to bother. Right, I'm just going to read through. Si, senor. Si, si, si. Si, si, uh, si. Nesquik cocaine. <laughs> right. Despite, <laughs> despite remaining anonymous throughout, the man at the center of the story announced this week he plans to sue the supermarket where he bought the offending Nesquik. What? Fucking, uh, in part because of the overwhelming attention the story has received. He remained anonymous. What the fuck so, does it have to do with the supermarket? Why do they get to be the uh, ones that get sued? Fucking blame claim, isn't it? That's fucking what where an there's asshole. blame. There's a claim. Why does he? Wh- why why did he just? Why did he just fucking keep the coke? I would have said the coke. I would have. Have a little bit, you know. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I've never yep. done coke before. Have you ever done coke? <laughs> Um, I would have sold it. Take that as a no. <laughs> I would have sold it. I've never done coke before. I've always wanted to try though to see how <laughs> productive it is. Is it very, very is productive? It, is it very productive? Do you? I mean, I imagine that I would get so much energy. I would just be like, like, oh, let me write about this. Let me write about this. Hey, how can I get more coke? Like, <laughs> you know, like the last nah, twenty minutes. you're, of you're thinking of like. Um, Speed like, like amphetamine, like Adderall or something like that, like a metamphetamine. Yeah. Thing so like. what's 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 coke like? <laughs> Not that you know. I don't know, mate. I can't tell you. <laughs> you're fucking lying. So I can't. I can't tell you. I love the fact right. that you're lying. Anyway, you moving on. It. I love it. I love the fact that you can't talk about it, but I know you've done it. I know it. In my heart <laughs> of hearts, I know it. <laughs> you've done nothing, mate. I ain't done nothing. <laughs> right. In your uh, fucking your fucking history and past, I fucking know you've done it. I know that a chick did it off your dick at some point. I know that. I know that for a fact. <laughs> That's actually definitely happened. <laughs> I done it off a dick. Oh, all right. Well, that's that definitely did happen. <laughs> but yeah, what would you what would you do? Right. So you walk in the supermarket. Yep. Oh, I fancy a milkshake because I'm fat <laughs> well, and I first, can't go buy of all, a, not, one that's made. I'm, I'm not buying Nesquik. I can tell. Nesquik you. is the worst <laughs> fucking it's, shit on earth. It's who so buys awful. fucking Nesquik? What's the Literally, classic? Who buys Nesquik? The classic joke is you make a Nesquik and then you go to drink it and it fucking volcano of Nesquik pops in your eye as you drink it. Oh, the it's fucking, the powdered it's the fucking worst. horrible. It's floating on the top. What is? Oh the man. Worst. The only Nesquik fucking I actually Nesquik liked the was was the pink. The pink. Um, strawberry one yes the strawberry was the shit oh, i like no way yes. that was fucking horrible the only one i could stomach was the banana one <laughs> we didn't i didn't even have a banana one growing up here mm-hmm. the banana one weren't too bad because you just put a tiny bit in with uh, loads of milk and it just tasted like banana milk, milk. Tastes better yeah yeah i i just i we never we, we were we weren't a we weren't rich enough to have nesquik we just did the syrup the you know the chocolate syrup the Hershey's you chocolate rich syrup. rich enough to have Nesquik. Yeah, Nesquik is expensive here in America, Shit man. In it's a fucking caravan. Yeah, <laughs> we were. I was. You know this. I was a poor kid, man. We were poor. We were fucking poor, dude. We didn't have Nesquik. We had chocolate Hershey's chocolate syrup in the bottle, so we would, you know, squeeze out the chocolate syrup out of the bottle and then mix up the, you know. To get chocolate milk, and that was it. So, that sounds, that we do Nesquik. The, the, time, the times we did Nesquik, we were like over at a babysitter's house or something like that, where people actually you know, made money. Like that. Did you ever like press your face against the supermarket window <laughs> and see people <laughs> see people buying Nesquik, and you're like, ah, oh, one day, yeah, yeah, one day, yeah. When I have oh, kids, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have stockpiles of Nesquik in my head now. I cannot go without it. <laughs> Fucking and do you know they brought out a straw, didn't they? Did you see? Oh that? yeah, they had. They, they did bring out a straw. You're right. It they makes your milk. So you just put it in milk. Yeah, and it you slowly turns. Milk, you suck it through. Yes, it's That's just bollocks. <laughs> it's such a cop out. It's such I a drink cop out. The only other than McDonald's, right? McDonald's. I, I always get a milkshake at McDonald's. I love them, McDonald's milkshakes. An actual but proper only, milkshake. Only have, have you got Yazoo? No, I don't, we don't have Yazoo. What's a what, what's a Yazoo? It's just like a bottle of milkshake. They're quite nice. Oh, they're already pre-made. Yeah, it's all pre-made. Okay, gotcha. No fucking powder. So you just you just take you take it out of the out of like the cold refrigerator and then you shake it. Yeah, you give it a little shake if you want. A little shake and then you pop it out. So that's that's like Yoohoo for us. Do you, you have Yoohoo over there? Well, I'm, I'm going to say they're quite. 
Yuhu and Yazu sound the same. Yeah. Uh, no, you're, so, you know what? That might be right. You, you might be on something. It might be the same company. Yeah. They're just named different. Yeah. But, Yuhu is like that. It's like a pre made chocolate drink or whatever, milk chocolate drink, and you just take it out. Yeah. I haven't had a Yuhu in years. No, I, I do one. like a milkshake as well. So what what would you do? What would you do if you found Coke in your Honestly, life? honestly, I'd sell it. Would you really? Yeah. You become it's like 11 a, grand. a drug kingpin? They wouldn't even need a kingpin. It's only 11 grand's worth. Who would you, you sell who to... would you sell it to and how would you sell it? Like who Well, uh, you know, you know you know, just for uh, you know, you know people who know people, don't you? No, I don't know anybody that does coke, and don't, I don't know. You don't know if anyone tr- that knows people. No, I don't know I, anyone I, that knows anyone now, about coke. If if I pick that up at the supermarket, I'd, I'd have that sold within three hours. Bullshit. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not bullshitting you. I mean, I'd you do live close to London. I mean, that's like a fucking... Like, I, like, like I know it. enough people. I used to have fucking 15 years in nightclubs. Do you I still know, know all those people? Uh, quite a few. Quite a few. I don't know, man. I don't... I don't... I don't do... Like, I'm so... Like, I feel like I'm white bread right now. But then I realize we're talking about, like... Racist. Fucking drug. Like, drug. What's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the black man's white bread? I guess just being a classic like guess right now, like the the classic gold teeth with the, you know the classic gold teeth with the big wad of cash in your pocket and you're fucking shopping at uh, Walmart <laughs> for shit. I guess that's the that's the black man's white bread. <laughs> okay, you know the, just the classic wannabe gangster, which you're really not a gangster because you get money. Teeth. And you, yeah, yeah, with the fake gold teeth and stuff like that. Right. Um, I I don't I don't I I I feel so normal right now but you're a bit of a point dexter aren't you yeah i feel like that right now but then again you're talking about a class a drug and selling it within a matter of three hours and i i i have that feeling where i'm glad i'm not doing that because you know that's no, that's doing fuck, that, am i I'll just that's I'll just like shawshank that... redemption prison that's like fuck I you in the that. ass prison i reckon i could get that sold very quickly do you know they found mm. like two hundred million pounds worth up in Great Yarmouth, which is quite close to us, is a it? few days ago? Two hundred million pounds? Yeah, that's a lot some, of cocaine. Dude. Some of some of the people at MI6 were that's like were a... saying to me, "You need to get up there. You need to get up there." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Why is it yours?" <laughs> well they, they played their cards not close to their chest at all not at all <laughs> like seriously you gotta go get me some i'm not i'm not even go, fucking around go now. get it uh, <laughs> <laughs> give me some right now fool <laughs> all right let's all move right. on to our next story you and mi6 that's some fucking crazy fucking selling coke fucking <laughs> townhouse <laughs> <laughs> townhouse what are you playing? Come on. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that make me. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Oh, let's talk about sex for now. To the people at home or in the crowd. It keeps coming up. And why are we talking about sex, man? We always talk about sex. Yeah, cerebral satire. Yes. Yeah, We're <laughs> back, so it wouldn't be fucking cerebral satire if we didn't talk sex. about some sort some something to do with sex. Some or deviant sex that's doing something disgusting. Yeah. And this is no different because it's a man dressed in no his dressing different. gown having sex with a drain cover. <laughs> in the middle of the road as well. This so, is this is what's wrong with this world right now. Okay. And this guy is women Flo- women Grotsu. Right, <laughs> and he's and and he's from Romford, East London, which Rump- is Romford, where, uh, where I'm from. Is that <laughs> is that like an inbred area of the UK or what? Well, East London. Can you not get prostitutes in East London? It sounds like you can get prostitutes in London. Well, blimey, Gav, we get loads of prostitutes <laughs> blimey, in East London, Gav. Blimey, Gav, ain't you ever seen Jack the Ripper, mate? That's where Jack the Ripper's from. East London, yeah, of course he is. White oh, people. fantastic. Did you know, right, here's a fun fact. A few years ago, 
uh, my auntie done our family tree. Okay. And in that oh, family tree. Oh, this is going to go <clears throat> bad, guys. This is going to go bad. I think I must have told you this before. Don't listen to this. This is going to go bad. Don't listen to this, everyone. Don't let, just turn it off now. Have a great day, yeah. everybody. Ant's going to admit Shut he's up. related to Jack the Ripper. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, it could be. In, <laughs> in like the late 1800s, going like gra- back, it was like my great, 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 great granddad or some shit like that. Yeah. And he was an East End gangster. And he had, he walked around with a dog called, what's a bloody dog called? I don't know. I can't remember. It was almost like fucking something out of Oliver Twist. And he, he had a walking stick. And in his walking stick was a dagger at the bottom of it. Right? It's, it's all, I don't know how she got all the information. Dagger like, at the bottom of it? Yeah. So, so he, he just yeah, picked it up and stabbed somebody? His, yeah. And he was a suspect in Jack the Ripper murders. There you go. That's a whole family that is the most, he's the most famous person in a whole family. I'm not sure. <laughs> like I'm honestly, like I don't, I'm not sure what to say about that, to be honest with you. I'm not, <laughs> it says a lot I don't there. know what to do or say about that at this point. Um, I'm not sure if you just, um, if you just admitted to yourself that you're fr- family, was Jack the Ripper? <laughs> What? He won't. He won't what? Um, can I have a beer, please? Oh, uh, now he he's doing it. requests. Can we talk about this guy that's fucking a manhole cover, please? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's talk about this guy. So, this guy called Gura, Gurasu was charged with public indecency and bailed to appear between at uh, Barkingside Magistrates Court yesterday, but he didn't turn up to hearing, and police issued a warrant for his arrest. So, a metro, uh, blah blah blah. Detectives in Havering have charged a man with criminal damage and two criminal indecency damage. offenses. Criminal so, damage? What did he damage? What did he damage? And he drain can't. Cover. He, you, you cannot fuck a drain cover damaged. You can't do it, dude. He you did. can't he, fuck a drain cover, cover damaged, dude. You just can't do it. Well, a man filmed it and. The baffled onlookers saw him laying down in the road in Romford, East London. He, it's not it, Romford ain't even in East what London. What did he damage? But tell me what he tell me what he damaged. Tell me what he, why is it illegal to fuck a drain? I mean, other than being like exposed to children, why is it illegal to, to fuck a drain cover? It's not. It's just. It's just like, why is it illegal yeah. to fuck? A drain cover. Yeah. Other than other, take out the whole. Let's say this guy. He was, was in, in public. His, no, no, okay. Other than being in public, let's say this guy was in his house, okay? Why yeah. is it illegal to fuck a drain cover? It's not. So other than being in, in public, it's illegal. Yes. Okay. I just want to make I just want to make sure that's that everyone's okay with someone fucking a drain cover and you know, other than in public. Just saying. He was charged with an indecency offense. Okay. And then damaging I. property, you said. Yes, that's and damage bullshit. your property. That's bullshit. Was, how is that bullshit? You can't damage property by being a human and fucking an iron skillet. You can't do it. You're not going to fucking... You're not, not going to fucking damage an iron skillet by fucking it in public. You're just not going to do it. It's the same thing. It's an iron fucking drain cover. You're not going to damage it by fucking fucking it. You can't do it. You can't physically hurt it unless you're like Wayne and you bang it out every day and you then you eventually you just bend it because you're you know oh, it's it's ill to, it's just bad to talk about that. um yeah. it, it's not well, good you, like, you can't do anything like you can't hurt it it's like fucking a it's like fucking a grill of the truck you can't hurt like our tailpipe of a truck you can't hurt it you can't hurt that the only thing you're gonna hurt, hurt is it, it. they you, haven't got feelings you cunt that's what i mean that and the fact well, that you can't, not what you literally damage can't, is, is it? If you step on a, if you step on a grate, if you jump on a grate, you're not going to hurt it. Fucking it is not going to hurt it either. Or oh, what, what about a cheese grater? <laughs> That's different. And you're still not going to hurt that either. No, you don't yourself. You're, I mean, you're going to hurt yourself, but other than that, you're not going to hurt it. Like, it, the damaging property is ridiculous. That's that's an utterly ridiculous thrown out of charge court. I would 100% fight that charge. 
but you don't, we don't know the full story, do we? Could have, I don't know. <laughs> You're reading it. What's the full story? <laughs> it doesn't say. They haven't, right, they haven't caught, caught him, right? Right. This is it, right? Have they caught him? So they haven't caught he him. Was, no, they ain't caught him. He was caught on camera thrusting his hips <laughs> while looking around sheepishly at 11 a.m. There was a one-minute video, which you can watch if you <laughs> go to the Daily Mail. It's an I, entire I, minute? I'll tell you not to go to the Daily Mail because it's fucking horrible right-wing cunts. But this is where I got it from. But but uh, it was yeah, it was recorded by a p- passenger in a passing car and it ends with the sirens blaring as the pl- police arrive to arrest him. Right? <laughs> Still got away. That's how shit your cops are. He still got away. Oh, they got him, but they he did, did get turn him. up to the court. Oh, <laughs> they let they him go. Him. <laughs> they did get him. <laughs> they got him and they let him go, and he didn't turn up to Fucking court. Fucking hours from New Tree Gardens. I know that place. <laughs> okay, so this is what's wrong with the world right now. Okay. What people fucking great? No, 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 no. The fact that he cannot find a woman that is willing to fuck him, okay? Women, you need to open your legs up more to men, okay? Here we go. You Here need go. to be more Welcome susceptible. You need to be one. more. <laughs> you need to be more more welcome to men being inside your vaginas because you're the people that are causing the problems in the world today, okay? Wow. You are it. If men got off more. Everything would be okay. Everything would be fine. But, but the problem but maybe, is you're so stingy with your with your vagina time that it's it's causing problems in the world. Just be okay with it. Be willing to go out with this guy and be like, oh, he's an okay right, looking enough, guy. Enough you're talking shit for a minute. Why am I talking? I'm not talking shit. I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Uh, <laughs> maybe he's just attracted to the greats. I mean, you was attracted to a sofa when you fucked the sofa. I was not so, attracted to the sofa. What? I was, not what? Att- I was not attracted to the sofa. Why did you fuck it then? Because it seemed like a good idea at the time when I was fucking eight. <laughs> He's always eight. No one fucks anything at eight. I didn't even know what sex was when I was eight. So yeah. don't. First of all, shit. yes, you did because you lost your virginity at like 13. 12. 12. So fuck That's off. even worse. That's even worse. Thank you for making my point. I appreciate that. Idiot. <laughs> what do you mean, idiot? <laughs> I was pulling a Chris Jericho. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> don't fucking do Chris Jericho jokes on on Sarah. We don't talk about wrestling. Sorry, sorry, I can't help it. Um no. He's not attracted to the great. The fact is he I wanted... watched a, t- whole, a whole one hour TV show where people were f- attracted to and fucked cars. <laughs> that's 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 my it was a, <laughs> my and addiction, right? 59 minutes, 59 <laughs> seconds too fucking long. <laughs> I love that show. I can't believe that show's off the air now. It's like my addiction, right? It's like <laughs> it, I've, yeah, I think it is. That, it's when the people it eat ate like ashtrays and shit. <laughs> like, what was that about? <laughs> no, I mean, that's that's what I'm trying that is my point here. People are fucking nut jobs. <laughs> but and the world is full of fucking people that are nut jobs. But when it comes to sexual like experiences, I really do think that women just need to put out a little bit more. No, I don't think they do. I think women put out fine. What about uh, men? What about men? Well, why don't the people Men are don't... fucking greats on the fucking street. I think they put out just plenty. Exactly. So <laughs> why don't you? Yeah. It, the men that can't get none, yeah, yeah. make them all cross-dressers. <laughs> Why? Because all men, you're saying, like, all men are horny all yeah. the time. Uh, I mean, so, I mean, a, a fair bit of the time. I'm not horny all the time, but I mean, so I, I do, like, I do right. get sex on the reg, so I can't say, you know, I'm the typical guy. The typical guy, I mean, my friends literally have not had sex for, like, 12 years, 13 years uh, at this point. I have hello. friends that have not had... Did you say hello? <laughs> hello from the other side. I literally, I mean, I have friends that have not had sex for like 15, 20 years almost at this point. It's it's, it's sad. Lovely. It's pathetic. And that's what happens. And, and then you go on the street and you fuck a great. That, that, that's what happens. Like What they should do is have a timeshare with each other where one week one dresses up. If, <laughs> if his name is Alan, he dresses up as Allison. And then, and then the next week, Bob dresses up as... Bobby. You know, Bobby. Yeah. So what? Take at at what turns. point... I want you to think about back to your, like... 
Well, see, it's not you're not you're not you're not the typical guy, Ant. You were a DJ. What do you mean? DJs get trim on the regs. Like DJs, oh, they, like they just walk up to you and unfold their flaps. Essentially, I mean that's what they do. And I, I, I used to be quite good looking. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you admit days. the fact that you're not. Oh, you're not an old God. dad with a dad bod. That's it. I'm dad bod. <laughs> Fucking dad gone. <laughs> Hashtag dad bod DJ. <laughs> Hashtag dad bod dead inside. <laughs> And yeah, but <laughs> those days are fucking gone. But in in the old days, yeah, if I was if I was you know at a club performing, yeah, looking good. Seriously, give, give, I want you. Was, I want you to very, give me very easy. To I want get you clubs. to give me a real example of that. Give me a What's real that? example, like exactly when you got blown in the club at some point. I want you to give me a real I've never been example. Blown in a nightclub. Bull. Fucking shit! I've never been blown in a nightclub. Did, have you had sex in a nightclub? Uh, I love it, Amy. I love the fact that he almost said. N-n-n-n-n-n-n-n. The DJ no, owns it. The DJ no, I, owns no, the floor, I, I had, dude. Right. The oh, the closest I had to having sex in a nightclub was one time I'd done an illegal rave. Yeah. Okay. And gotcha. yeah. I was I was in the rave and I I was performing okay. and a girl comes up to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Load of bollocks happened. I can't remember. I was pissed. And she said, like, oh, do you want to... We'll go outside and we'll go fuck. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah sweet. Yeah. And I just bought a brand new coat and it was white. <laughs> I always remember this. I will take this to the grave with me. I bought a white Parker coat, it was. And she gets outside and she's like, right, do you want to put the coat down? I was like, no. Nah, <laughs> we'll just do it, like, standing up. She's like, no, nah, I can't do it standing up. We're going to have to get on the floor. Obviously, I don't want to get my back dirty. Obviously, uh, can you put your coat down? I was like, "Fuck off!" I was like, "Fuck you!" My fucking brand new coat, fucking white. Yeah, fuck off. And I walked back in the club, <laughs> having a fucking laugh, dude. Wasting my fucking brand new coat. There's got to be a time ugly. where. Okay, so again, I say. There's no time in my life where I have ever, ever had a woman just come up to me and say, right, let's go fuck. There's it not a time. It weren't, that, weren't that fucking blunt. It was yeah. like, hello, you are right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a couple, it. It, was, it was at least three, four minutes of bollocks yeah. before we yeah. was like, yeah, should we go outside? Yeah, that's never happened to me. That's never happened to any of my friends. That's never happened. It might have happened to, to one of my family members, but it's never happened... Because my dad was a bit of a whore when he was <laughs> when he was in college and everywhere. Yeah, Good he was. Man. Yeah, <laughs> my uncle tells Don't stories. Don't tell Jean that she'll get angry. That's not. That's my grandmother. <laughs> I know it's your grandmother. That's what I'm oh, saying. That's why yeah. she get angry. Yeah, uh, there's there's stories that my uncle tells when my uncle lived with my dad about him bringing home two two women in a single day, two different women in a single day. Nice player. <laughs> my dad's a whore. Anyway, so. Uh, I, I, that's never happened to me. It's never happened to my friends. It's never happened to any of my friends. We did. It's, it's, it just doesn't happen in the world I live in. And this guy obviously is reaching out for help. He obviously needs a an open set of legs with a nice firm vagina between them. No, obviously, he likes the cold hardness of metal. Do you think that has anything do you think really that has anything to do with or you think it really I think, is I think it's it's, think it's a fetish more because... the fact that he's probably in public doing it as well. I mean and I can just you can just walk up to a cafe and just jerk off and jizz well, on the, some on the do, window and just run away. Some people do. All I'm saying is that this, everything drives towards a reason, right? Everything goes towards a reason. There's a reason your, why this and guy. Your misogyny kicks in, and you're blaming women for this. Yes. For not be for not being open enough. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Really I mean, why not? Why Why would that not be the reason? Why would that not be the reason for this guy? If he got laid on the reg, it would everything would. Be I okay. love it. I love it when we do shows and people call me out being misogynistic. I love it. <laughs> Because I'll just bring these little gems up again. Because you are way more misogynistic than me. I am not. I'm a little bit misogynistic. I'm not. Actually, I'm quite liberal. I'm not misogynistic at all. And we've discussed this before. I just don't like feminism. Yeah, you hate feminism. And I I I like feminism. I I love feminism. I just think feminism could be better if women put out more. You're a feminist. (laughs) And then you make statements like that. So what? I mean, what do you you think about the march? Power to women. 
open your legs more. What do you think about the march that happened? The, the... Oh, so they've, they've done it over oh, here as well. There you go. So that's a load of shit. Yeah, there we go. That's that's the misogynist I was looking for. <laughs> no, that's the anti-feminist that you were looking for. <laughs> I love women. Trust me. Oh, yeah, we know. Amy knows. Trust me. Well, hey, when's the last time you got laid? Uh, about five minutes before this podcast. Bullshit. Not bullshit. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. Yeah. Seriously? Seriously? First time sometimes... for about 12 months, but <laughs> maybe it was the fact that we were doing the podcast. When was the last time maybe... you got your dick sucked? Five minutes, before, five minutes before the podcast. Oh, really? It started It started out with that or it ended with it? A uh, bit of both. Bit of both. Ah, I like that. <laughs> Middle. <laughs> you ready to get yeah, out of here? Shits on your parade, didn't it? I did. It. I didn't shit on my parade. It just. It just was unexpected. It was fucking unexpected for me as well. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> a little surprise for you in the middle of the day. <laughs> oh, honey, you're gonna do. Uh, you're gonna do the podcast. I will suck your dick before you do it. Wow, she's gonna love you. For I that. know. She's. Gonna, I'm gonna get a mess out of feeling. <laughs> All right, aunt. That's it. Welcome back. Welcome back, buddy. Good to talk to you again, even though yeah. we talk anyway. Yeah. But <laughs> it's it's good to talk with yes. everyone else listening into our normal conversations. Yes. The website, CerebralSatire.com, guys. Facebook.com slash Cerebral Satire is where you can get most of us. Cerebral Satire on Twitter. Hashtag C Satire if you guys want us to see anything on Twitter. Send us your stories. Tell us what you think about the shows. Tell us what um, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, actually, don't tell us what you don't like because we don't fucking care. I'm gonna be honest with you. We don't, don't give a shit. We don't give a shit. We're still we're, we're still gonna do the same shit we do yep. anyway. Hopefully, Two we're gonna bring a little bit a of, of of light levity to your 2017 because so far it's been awesome. It's been fucking awful. <laughs> Go Trump! I love Trump. <laughs> oh, it's been awful. That was your cerebral satire for this week, everyone. Have a great week. Say goodbye, Aunt. Yeah. Now the working Bye. classes are obsolete They are simply yeah, to society's needs Dead <laughs> So let them all catch your them And get it made overseas Got to wait That's the word, don't you know From the guys that's running the show Perfectly clear boys and girls Oh, cunts are still running the world Cunts are still